Well, a first responder from the attacks on 9-11 is kicked out of an Oklahoma rally, and it's all caught on tape. Reggie Cervantes is known nationwide for pushing for change in health care reform, but she was stopped dead in her tracks when attempting to voice her concerns to an Oklahoma senator. KSBI TV's Ashley Shibley first told us about this rally yesterday. Ashley, you talked with Ms. Cervantes today. Keely, I did, and as you can imagine, she is pretty shaken up by this scuffle, but she says some good news did come out of this. The fight was actually posted on YouTube, and it's raising eyebrows all the way to Washington, D.C. This is what happened to Reggie Cervantes when she tried to go to Senator Inhofe's office. And as we see in the video, um, there are some very angry people, some very hateful people that feel you know, that that man claims I'm stealing from him. That man is Al Gerhardt, and as you can see, he is extremely opposed to President Obama's health care plan. Every nickel of her Social Security goes to pay her health insurance. You're wanting to tax that. These two groups collided at Inhofe's office and were eventually removed from the property by this security guard. Cervantes says she was there because she wanted to make sure her story was heard. I, I went to to the World Trade Center to rescue people I might know, my neighbors, and I ended up sick as a result. Because of her time at Ground Zero, Cervantes says she now suffers from many illnesses, including pulmonary fibrosis and post-traumatic stress syndrome. She wants Senator Inhofe to know how poorly the insurance companies are treating her. And because of that, her medical bills are piling up and she can't get the treatment she needs. Inhofe, who's in D.C., got word of what happened at his Oklahoma City office and had this to say to us in a statement. I agree that there are problems with our health care system that need to be addressed, but the solution to these problems is not big government reforms that further centralize power and decision-making around Washington bureaucrats. But Cervantes has this to say. Until people know and they walk in my shoes, they don't get it. They don't get it. And that's what I wanted to tell the senator. Now we have learned that Senator Inhofe did personally call Cervantes today and apologize to her for how she was treated. He said next week a member from his staff will meet with her to discuss her insurance problems. Reporting from the Live Center, I'm Ashley Shibley, KSBI TV News. All right, Ashley, thank you for that.